Hello, how are we all? It's been two weeks later and I'm actually only getting around to editing this vlog now where I've realised that I have no introduction for this video. Just to keep it very concise and to explain the purpose of today's video, well the start of it anyway. So yeah, on the 4th of October, so the start of this month, we had the pleasure of recording with UTV Live. I'm gonna say we, I mean myself and Kian. We were filming a segment with Pamela Valentine um, for UTV Life, all about sustainable fashion and stuff like that. Like the charity that we were working with was Vincent de Paul. Yeah, we actually had such a lovely morning. It was so, it was such fun. Like I've never done anything like that before. I've never been on TV, so this was totally new to me. We didn't actually go to the UTV studio, but we went to like a hotel beside it, and yeah, it was actually such a good time. Like we were given like three to four outfits. I think we only got around because we were in sort of like a strict time schedule. So I think we only got around to filming in three. So I actually have a really funny story to tell you. So the night before, obviously in preparation for it, I tanned and whatnot because I knew that like you're going to be on TV, you're going to be wearing clothes, you need tan, right? So because I was literally, I was cast as a ghost. I was so white. And out of sheer laziness, decided not to tan my feet. Like I always do that. I always think, especially because it's autumn, I'm, I'm like, well, you're not going to be wearing sandals. You're not going to see my feet. So didn't tan my feet. First outfit I get handed is a pair of strappy sandals. It was so fun for me. I had to go on TV with white feet. Okay, so we're in our last outfit. <laughs> Will I show it off again? <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't really vlog very much during the whole thing just because like we're kind of on a time limit. So it's just been like changing outfit and then getting on with it. Um, yeah, this is the last one. They done an interview, which I did not expect. So they kind of caught me off guard with that. <laughs> Complete a big fear of mine. How to get in the elevator by myself? <laughs> I'm like severe claustrophobic, and I've had to get into about ten elevators today. And I literally the first time I didn't want to say anything and cause a scene because I did not want to get in it. But everyone else just walked in, so I was like, I closed my eyes. I'm so embarrassed, but like I couldn't help myself. Like I did not want to make a scene, but I hate them. Just had a lovely freezing hot, freezing hot, freezing hot shower. I'm gonna get ready now. I'm gonna go and do a bit of shopping because I need to get something to wear tonight. And I need new foundation and new bronzer, so ignore. I know I have a white face, but I hate putting tan on my face because it makes my skin so bad. Honestly, I feel like the world is against me. Like last week, got my hair done, got my nails done, got my eyelashes done, got my eyebrows done, and then skin just totally shits itself. So this is my wearing. I'm using Doc Martin boots. Yeah, ignore this. I bought it in a vintage shop the other day. How cute is this little jumper? I can't remember what it's called, so like I'll put a video of it in the next clip. I haven't washed it yet because I'm lazy at the moment. So we are in Urban Outfitters. Okay, I wish I hadn't seen that because like there's not one thing in the shop that I don't like. I literally yeah. want to buy everything I see. It's actually so good. I don't think I love these. I don't know, I think I thought they were, they were going to be like high waisted, but the low waist is just not a bit of me. So I think I'm going to get them. So we're in Young Savage at the minute. I actually spent so much more money than I intended to. Did a bit of damage in Pull and Bear, one of my favourite shops ever. I will show you whenever I'm back. Everything's so nice. Don't have the funds for this shit. Like, by the way, I know my face is glowing, but it's not sweat. It's my moisturiser. I don't know who I think I am today, but I actually need to be surgically removed from this fucking shop before I spend any more money because I'm quite literally acting like Daddy Warbucks today. I'm eating in my shit at home. Right. So we're back now. I'm just gonna do a mini haul. Did take my bougie home because when you're a student, you have to do these things. Probably going to be my dinner later, you know. So firstly, this is what I got in Paul and Bear. We got this little cardigan, which is really cute, and it was like beside these flares. I showed you earlier on, but there was like a twenty percent student thing on tonight, so I can't remember how much I paid for it, but. I think it was in at around 30 for this and 20 for the bottoms. I actually don't have these buttons to follow up. I just really couldn't be bothered. So we got these out of, was it Young Savage? I don't know, Young Savage, I think. These like, they're kind of like, I wish I could show you the bottom, but this is like, my room is so small. So this is like really the only place I can keep my camera. Obviously I wouldn't wear it with a white top, but I think they're cute. I got these little jeans. They kind of like flare at the bottom too. And I got this little blouse. I kind of thought that it maybe would have went with them. The more I look at it, I don't really think it would. Maybe it's nicer like this. I don't know. So oh, this is the last one. This is my Motel Rocks little dress. Got this for going out tonight. Probably wear this. I don't really think it goes with black, but like in Pull and Bear, I got these little boots that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's gonna go with black whether it actually does or not. 
this is the art for tonight. The last few things I got were a set of rings from Paul and Bear, and then I also got, whoops, in TK Maxx, I got Nip and Fab like concealer that I'm going to use for a contour stick and some concealer, the L'Oreal Infallible one I think it's called. And before I start getting ready anyway, I love to like whiten my teeth when I'm doing my makeup. I'm going to whiten my teeth with the Smile X Teeth Whitening um, that they had me sent me on Instagram. So I did the one thing that you absolutely should not do before going out when you have a spot. I fucking squeezed it. It's just annoying me so much. That's the worst fucking stage I just, I had to squeeze it. And I just made the matter so much worse. Oh. I also didn't think this through, but I'm going to be talking with a list the entire time I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so I did not wash my beauty blender in preparation for this. I know it's extremely fucking dirty, but do not say anything about it. If anyone had seen my first video, I had got my nose pierced in Claire's accessories. It fell out. Fell out in my fucking sleep. I was so annoyed about it. See, whenever I woke up the next morning, like, I had searched all over my bed and I could not find this version. Always bring it down to your neck. I had to literally go digging for this because when you are getting makeup in TK Maxx, like majority of the time they're all opened and picked through. I absolutely hate that. I used to I used to loathe it, TK Maxx. I never used to go there for the simple reason that it was always so freaking messy. I just thought it was a waste of shop. It was never tidy and you could never find anything, but I actually really like it now. I think I might be the shittest person at doing makeup ever. I don't have the patience for it. And I love art, but I just don't like makeup. I just fucking can't be bothered. I wish I could just click my fingers and like my makeup was done. Hmm. Hmm. Contour the head because I've got a big ass forehead. And then I've seen like Bailey Sir, whatever her name is, I can't remember. Oh my god, do you know who I look like there? Get that nice. What the fuck is this? God damn it. Oh my god! What the fuck? As Bob Ross says, we don't make mistakes, we make happy accidents. Oh, I just want to get drunk. Sorry, I'm not going through what products I'm using. I just assume that nobody actually cares. But if you do want to know, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Well, thankfully for the eyebrows that I got done last week and for my eyelash extensions, I don't have an awful lot more to do. I'm just going to do a bit of eyeshadow. I'm going to try, like, try to do like bronzy, peachy kind of vibes tonight. I'm going to do like gold jewelry and stuff. And I always think like I want to be like really bronzed and really like, you know. We were walking in the town today, like when we were going shopping. The amount of people that I seen with bags on. Like walking back from uni, walking back from school, I I'm not even joking, it made me feel so yucky. Like I've been at two classes since we've been back. Like two classes and I'm in almost every single day. It's an absolute joke. For eyes, I'm just using the Be Perfect Cosmetics um, with LMD, this palette. I love this palette, especially because it has like those sort of like bronzy kind of colours I want. And yes, I use the same eyeshadow brush for like almost every colour. I haven't been out in so long. And like I haven't drank in a really long time and I know it's like pressures and uni you think I could be going out all the time but I actually really haven't. It's just been a totally different vibe this year, I don't know why. I'm so, so excited tonight and all I bet all day was that vision so I feel like I'm really gonna die tomorrow. Should we do a wing? Could I be bothered? I don't know. No, fuck it, we'll do a wing, will we? Yeah, we'll do a wing. Right, so I just took my teeth out, right? I actually feel so much better now that I can properly talk. I wasn't talking very much before and I had them in just because it sounds like literally so silly. I basically the majority of my makeup done. I don't think I'm going to be too like adventurous with my eye makeup. I never really am because I don't suit like heavy eyeshadow and stuff. I really wish I could do like the really fancy like eyeliners and stuff like people do like the white eyeliner. No, it's just not for me. I think my eyes are too fucking big like honestly. Even eyelash extensions sometimes I look at them and like my eyes are wide enough. I totally forgot I haven't even touched my brows so I might fill them in ever just slightly. My favourite thing for brows like I absolutely love it. It's the NYX Team and Frame. It's like the best rep for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I pomade or whatever that's called. One of my eyebrows raises higher than the other. It's so, oh, so annoying. It actually gets me so frustrated. But how nice are they? Like, I literally love them. I'm actually obsessed. And I love when they're tinted. You don't have to do very much to them. Hold them in place. I like this Pixie by Petra brow, um, like gel. Okay, now for lips. Just using this, like, Primark one. But you know what? I love a good Primark lip liner. Absolutely love them. Every time I go in, there's never nude ones. Only these like dark red brown kind of ones. So I'm literally just putting this in the bottom and like just to give my lips a bit of shape more so than anything. And then I'm just using lipstick for the rest. So for lipstick, I'm using this So So in the shade birthday suit. Shit, I actually need a shade of my moustache. Oh dear, can you see that? Can you notice it? Is it really bad? So embarrassing. I've just added like some jewellery, some rings, um, I've added like a bit of eyeshadow underneath my eyes as well and some highlighter and some blush. I think that's hair done. I think this is all I'm really gonna do for my hair. Do you know what I'm nearly done and I do this every time I get a new dress? Oh my tongue is so bad. I left the label on. Hold on. Oh my god, please don't be ripped. Thank you. So I think this is the finished product. Hair. 
could be better so this is what we're wearing tonight um i wish you could get like a full angle but let me try to set you on my sink see if this helps this is the outfit with these boots that's the finished look um i'm gonna start drinking now i'm waiting on people to come over because i'm like the only person here i don't want to start drinking on my own because that's a bit sad so probably will add more into this video but for now this will be done <laughs> Okay, so I'm so hungover today, so I'm gonna get my belly button done. Mm -hmm. No, like, I hope my belly's not hairy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my and that is basically all I have for that vlog. Sorry, again, that it was a bit of a shit show. Um, and a few minutes at the very end, thank you so much for persevering with me. I appreciate it, and thanks for watching. Bye!